All right, good morning and welcome to Mishnah Yomi Iyun. Mishnah Kilayim, Perik Hay. We're going to discuss Mishnah Gimel over here. The end of the Mishnah says that even though normally if you have a hill uh, in the middle of your vineyard, uh, which is 10 Tvachim high and 4 Tvachim wide, which would make it a different Rosh it's not part of your care. I mean, you can plant wheat there, you can plant something else there. But if the vines are very high and they touch, they intermingle with the wheat, as the Lashon of the say, are Kotesh, Aser, and the Mishnah says Aser, it would Aser, maybe even Aser making Kodesh. Now we learned in other places, this is part of the Pasuk. Uh, something like that. That uh, if it mixes together, it would Aser, make Kodesh, you'd have to burn this mixture of the vines with the Tua. We learned elsewhere. If you the leaves, you you forcibly take your vines and you intermingle them with tvua, even though you'd be allowed to plant there um, the tvua, but you mix the vines with the tvua, it would aser the tvua. If it's shalchaveru, it's machlokas. Can you aser davar shalchaveru or not? But if it belongs to you, for sure it would aser. So it tells Yontov over here is bothered by Sarah Kote. She says <coughs> that they're a the mixture. Uh, uh, but some po- from Farshim say, but I know the Amar Rabbi Yehuda, the Perak Talel, Mishnah Zayin in Irsa. Uh, the Rash and Rav Ajibar Tanura say this is exactly what Rabbi Yehuda says uh, in Perak Dal and Mishnah Zayin that if the vines mix together with the grave in Irsa, if you mix them together, Rabbi Yehuda says that would ask. Or here it seems to be the Tanakhama, not Rabbi Yehuda. So what's going on? The Davar Temahu Shashinu Shino Balishno. He says it's it's a it's a big uh, question over here because it's a different lush on there it says ear sun he mixed them together here's a kotesh kotesh is like katisha like grinding something why the different lush on and secondly there's only the opinion of Yehuda here it seems to be the, the opinion of the Rabbana. so he tries to answer and this is the way tells John the answers he says there we're talking about air sun if you forcibly took it and mixed it together if you forcibly took it took it and mixed it together, that would be maybe less of an issue. Only according to Yehuda would be a problem. And here, if it happens in Mela, then it would be a problem. Because again, what are we dealing with over here? We're dealing with this Pasuk, right? Um, this Pasuk, Pein Tikta Shamleya Tua Sakarim. It says, Lo Sizra Karma Chalkilayim. That's an action on a person you can't plant it. And it says, Pein Tikta Shamleya. It doesn't sound like you're doing it. Pein Tikta Shamleya. Mela, it'll happen. Pein Tikta Shamleya. Unless it happen, that it become Kodesh. Right? Because, lest it happen. Lest it happen means that it might happen. Um, and that sounds like it might happen to Mela by itself. But if you forcefully took the vines and you mixed it with the Tfua, that's not considered a natural growth. And maybe only according to Behuda, that would be considered a mixture where you're making uh, the Tvua Kodesh uh, by mixing it with the, the grapevines, but if it happened in Mela, it wouldn't be. Uh, all, only Yehuda says when you when you mix it forcibly, that would be considered Pain Tizra. Uh, according to Rabbana, it has to be Mamash and Mela. It has to happen by itself. Only when it happens by itself, then there's more reason to say that Rabbana would agree that it's considered mixing, and that would be Kotesh. It would be grinding. Air sun means forcibly mixing it. Kotesh, like he says over here, means happen by itself. There's more reason to ask her what happens by itself. I'll discuss why at a different time. See you tomorrow.